I'm now going to show you how to do an instant chart using forensic comparison software. To do that I start with an already marked up uh, comparison and in this one I, you can see that it's, uh, all the features have been marked with a green dot. Now I'm going to change that so you can more easily see where the dots are. I'm going to select all and I'm going to go to the feature editor and hit red. And while I'm here I'm going to change the line colors so this gives a bit more contrast between the lines and where the features are. So I'm going to select blue for the line colors in the chart. Now that I've got that I'm just going to unselect the features. I'm going to go to reporting and select auto chart. We have the lines and the, uh, the numbers have appeared in the border. So I'm just going to rearrange the numbers. I'm going to rearrange this one so it fits in the border a little bit more so they're both the same. And I'm just going to check the others. I'm going to move this one across here. And there we have it and you can see the numbers are in the order in which I marked the features. Now most people want the numbers to be in clockwise direction from the top left hand corner. Now to do that all you need to do is press auto number and it rearranges all the numbers in order around the border. And you can use this uh, feature here to change those to letters so that the letters are in sequence in the border. You can now transfer that chart to a Word document by using copy, opening up a Word document and pasting it in there. Now you might have to resize it for the Word document, just making it a little bit smaller. And from there it can be saved to a case file in electronic format or printed out as a um, hard copy for your case file.